Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Janice and I'm Action the Alligator. And we are very happy that you've decided to join our adventure. So let's go and find out what day one has in store for us. So buckle up, we're going to start driving now. Can I drive? I'll be very careful. No action, you can't drive, but you can sit on my lap for a little bit. After about an hour and a half of driving, it was time to take a break and I stopped at this Busy Bee gas station. And it's not your typical gas station because everything is bee themed. Just look how much honey that they have of all varieties. Acai honey, spiced rum honey, vanilla honey, lemon honey, cacao honey, lavender honey, orange blossom honey, hot honey. There's not a type of honey that you can't find here. Oh yeah, ice ice baby. Even the restrooms have a bee theme. If you're looking for honey products, this is the right place. There is a lot of candy as well. I ended up grabbing some honey. You can see here, it's a uh, superfood, so it's very uh, healthy. Honey with pollen, royal, je royal jelly, and propolis. So I will be snacking on this during my trip. You can get your super honey in the link below my video. There sure is a lot to explore in this gas station store. It looks like they even carry their own line of sauces. It's quite impressive. I even forget I'm at a gas station. And how about some jerky? Oh yeah, definitely lots of different flavors here. It was a pleasant little stop and it's time to hit the road again. As you can see on the map, Gainesville is somewhat in the middle of Tallahassee where I'm coming from and Orlando, the final destination. So I decided to take a long pit stop there to break up the driving. I visited the Santa Fe Zoo in Gainesville since I've been wanting to go and action was keen on it. We're at the zoo! We're at the zoo! Come on! Let's go! What are you waiting for? Okay action, I'm ready. Hop in and let's go! What do you hope that we see today? I hope that we see some alligators! You are an alligator. Well, if they're not here, worst case scenario, you hold up a mirror and look at yourself. Ooh, look here, Action. Here are some feathery friends. What are they? Hmm, I don't know, but there's a sign. Let's read it. Golden Conyers from Brazil. That's what I thought! Oh, really, Action? You knew that? Ooh! I see a monkey! Look at that one over there. Looks like he's doing some acrobatics. Yeah! They move with such dexterity! Look at them go! Leap. 
those really fast jumping squirrel monkeys. Let's learn about the tree kangaroo. Let's read. They are endangered. Fun facts. These arboreal marsupials have many adaptations to help them move through the trees of the cloud forest. They use long claws and rough pads on their feet to climb and grip tree trunks. Their long tails aid in balance as they jump from branch to branch. When they decide to descend from the trees, they can leap up to 60 feet to the ground without injury. Hello viewers! Hello y'all! Who has the most beautiful tail of them all? Is it me? Or the tree kangaroo? What do you think? Leave me a comment! Vote for me! Vote for me! I won't eat the Niala. Thank you, Action, for not eating the Niala. Now other people can enjoy the animal and learn about them. I think you're just tired and need to take a break. Why don't we sit down and observe animals from this shaded area here? Okay. Wow! It's a peacock! All fanned out! So beautiful! Yeah, it looks like the gopher tortoise is his roommate. I think the peacock wants to dance. How do you know? <laughs> Guess you were right. Can you spot the bald eagle? There he is. Let's observe a sleeping, well, that one was flying. Flying ibis. This is now, oh, he's over there now. Over there. Now the sleeping ibis. Okay, it is turtle time. Ooh-wee! I think it's alligator time! Okay, where are you, my friend? Oh, I spot him. There he is. Do you see him? Oh, yes! Hello, my dear friend! How are you? Let's read more about you, Miss Action Alligator. Okay! Tales and Trails Alligators are essential to Florida wetlands and are considered a keystone species. They play a critical role in their ecosystem and have a huge effect on the lives of the animals that share their habitat. Hey, Action, you're important! Yeah, I know! Alligators use their snout and tail to dig depressions called alligator holes, which hold water in dry conditions. Alligator holes and trails can retain water throughout the winter dry season and serve as a refuge for a variety of wildlife that rely on moist environments. I've always wondered why you had such a big snout. Well, now you know! Okay, so after a long drive, we have made it into the hotel. This is it, it's Marriott, it's very nice. Let me show you the room. Um, I don't have the most beautiful view. However, um, I'm grateful for this room because it's so clean and um, it's just a very nice hotel. So let's take a look. So we will start with this bed, nice king size bed. I'm going to enjoy it. And I like the backdrop, the design in the background quite nice and then 
this is a little space I can just like sit and um, think and relax and reflect and write. And this is the view. It's not the most glamorous. <laughs> However, there is a big fountain outside and I will show that to you later. So this is the bathroom. Oh, thank goodness that they have some shampoos because I brought a small pouch, but it's not that much. So this is quite nice. I think I'm gonna enjoy my stay. All right. So now it's time to unpack my things and organize it for my little stay here. So this is the hotel I'm staying and in here it is so peaceful. I just discovered this by walking around. There's the highway over there or a major road which um, you can't really hear any you can't hear anything. It's quite peaceful here. So there's the road. But it's very peaceful and there is just uh, just a serene feeling I get just being here. There's a nice little path to walk and I just love the green grass and the lake. Quite nice. I think I'm going to enjoy my time here very much. So yeah, here's the hotel. And there are areas that you can sit and just look at the lake. Let me show that to you. Oops. I think this place is absolutely stunning and I so look forward to being here and doing the training. I am definitely ready to jump into this pool and splash around and relax. There is a garden behind the hotel and they grow their own herbs to use in their restaurant kitchen. Lots and lots of different types of herbs here. Very fresh. Ooh, but I hope they don't grow ping pong balls. I love walking around and the smell of fresh herbs is just very rejuvenating to me.
I found an avocado tree. And a starfruit tree. I am totally thrilled to be here. This is the lake that is just right outside of the hotel. I really enjoyed it not only because you can see some wildlife there, some birds flying around and swimming in the lake, but also it makes a really nice path to walk. And so I took a walk here, did two rounds around the lake at night. It was just perfect after a long day of driving. I walked around and the sun was setting and the night was coming so it was just a very peaceful, relaxing time. If you liked this video, hit the like button and share it with someone that you think would enjoy it or find it useful. Make sure that you are subscribed to see what both Action and I are up to in Orlando. It's completely free to subscribe and you will be notified as soon as I post the videos. Thank you for your support and stay tuned for day two as I go off for training and action explores the inside of the hotel. See you tomorrow. Wow, look at this pine cone. It's like the size of my foot. Did you know pine cones can be this big?